Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Troy's Life with CKD. I'm Troy, and I have chronic kidney disease. Um, today I'll be talking about chronic kidney disease, anemia, and fitness and exercise. So chronic kidney disease and anemia are highly correlated. Um, when kidneys aren't fully functioning or fully healthy, they don't produce as much erythropoietin, or EPO. And that's the hormone that signals to your bone marrow to create red blood cells. So if you have less erythropoietin, being created or produced by your kidneys, you likely have less red blood cells being created by your bone marrow and less oxygen being carried throughout your body. And that can cause a number of symptoms. Um, the three main symptoms of anemia are lightheadedness or dizziness, um, fatigue or tiredness, and also shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. And I actually used to experience all three of those. Um, I guess I found out that I had anemia during my second year of college. Um, I had just started regularly seeing a nephrologist, which is a kidney doctor, and she, let's see, she had me doing labs, and then shortly after getting the lab results back, um, she called me and she said, hey, you have to come into the infusion center as soon as possible because your hemoglobin and your red blood, blood cell count are super low. So I made my way to the infusion center and I did an iron infusion and then I think like two weeks after that first iron infusion I did a second and both of those helped counteract my symptoms of anemia. And then she also recommended that I take iron pills um, on a daily basis just to also help counteract the symptoms of anemia a little bit better. And I think at that point I was so tired of taking pills that um, I asked her for an alternative to uh, to taking those iron pills, and she suggested maybe I try these injections. Um, so they're like monthly injections, I think. Um, the one I started doing was called Procrit, um, and that does the same thing essentially as the erythropoietin, which is to signal to the bone marrow to make more red blood cells. Um, and that actually worked really well for I don't know, for months, probably around six months. Um, and then the effects started to fade a little bit. Um, so I switched to a different injection called Aranesp, and that one was supposed to be a little bit uh, longer lasting, as well as a little bit stronger and more potent. And I still do that to this day. Um, I think right now I sleep about eight to 10 hours a night to feel well rested um, for the next day. And I think prior to getting these injections, um, I used to need to sleep like 10 to 14 hours a night just to, just to get throughout my day the next day. Um, so as you can tell, chronic kidney disease and anemia, both individually and together, can substantially lessen your energy levels. Um, so if you're feeling more tired than usual, um, Maybe check in with your doctor and see if maybe you have anemia or chronic kidney disease or both. Um, and maybe there's something that they can do to help counteract any of uh, symptoms that you might be feeling. Anyways, I bring this up because uh, I love lifting weights. I know it might seem counterintuitive that I like lifting weights when I have chronic kidney disease and anemia. But uh, I love it nonetheless. Um, I probably go to the gym like six to seven times a week and for at least an hour and a half each time. Um, even though I have less energy levels than the normal or average person, I would say. Um, but I go so often because weightlifting for me is kind of therapeutic. Uh, it's an activity where I can kind of clear my head and put all my you know, life stressors, especially health related, on the back burner for a while. Um, and I think it's important actually that everyone has some sort of activity kind of like that that they can partake in to reduce their stress levels. Um, actually, I wanted to make this video kind of a benchmark type of video for my weightlifting and bodybuilding. Um, if you don't want to see my body or what it looks like, uh, just close your eyes or fast forward um, because I'm going to transition to a clip right now. <laughs> Oh, by the way, um, I'm six feet tall and I weigh 145 pounds right now.
So that's what my body looks like right now. Um, I just decided recently that I want to put on weight and I want to be 165 pounds by the end of this calendar year or December. And right now it's early February, so I think I have plenty of time to do that and I'll be doing that by still continuing my whole foods plant-based renal diet. Um, I think I think it's definitely doable. Uh, just the past two weeks alone I put on two pounds. Um, I don't know whether that has to do with me just being very light in general or if that speaks to how fast I can potentially put on weight. But uh, we'll see and I'll keep you updated. Uh, now that I've kind of documented my goal, I just wanted to say that uh, you should make sure that you eat healthy and feed your body right, uh, regardless of if you're into fitness and exercise. Um, that way you can maintain or better your health. And if you like this video, uh, click like and subscribe. Um, if you know anyone who has chronic kidney disease, anemia, or any other disease or illness, or anyone who you think would benefit from seeing this video, uh, share it with them. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, put them in the comment section below. And lastly, follow my Instagram. Um, I'll list that in the info section below. But uh, thanks for watching.